You got it on, brother? Hallelujah. Thank you. All right, because I can need it. All right. We gotta get ready. I wanna uh, I wanna take the service so that we can glory to God. Keep this. Amen. That let God people know that it's time for revival. Yeah. Revive yeah. me, yeah. oh Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And then we, it, the man of God said, get out of your seat and go to the street. Amen. And I Amen. thought that was the best. I said, now that is a good thing. Amen. Get out of your seat and go to the street. Amen. And when you go to the store, when you go to uh, a King Coles, or when you go to a restaurant, you getting out. And you got to take, you know, I remember times we used to take tracks in our purse. Right. We didn't got lazy. I mean, for real, them chick tracks. And we used to... They leave it on there with a tip for the for the waitress. Even if they throw it away, that's all right. Come on, somebody, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Old school, baby. Old school says she ain't gonna give in. She ain't gonna give up and she ain't gonna give in. Glory to God. I want to let you know a little about this man of God. Amen. He is a man that loved the Lord. Amen. Uh, with all of his heart, soul, and mind. And when he told me that he was downtown Dallas preaching the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, and we was talking on the phone, and all I heard was Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And then Jesus, Jesus. And then Jesus, Jesus. I mean, we didn't get off the phone with nothing but Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus. So I told him, I said, look here, I ain't going to go no more. You got to get a revival going on. I said, you said somebody else needs to hear all this good news. Yeah. So what we brought him down for, because we want to encourage the saints of God yes. to be stirred again. Yes. Stir up the gift inside of you. Glory to God. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let the man of God come out of the glory to God in power and might. He's evangelist. Tyrone Daniels. And let's Amen. stand to our feet and honor this man of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name, God. I thank you for that introduction. God bless you. It was well received. And I thank God, God for you too, Sister Gail. God because bless you. Sister Gail and many of you, you know, have encouraged me while I was in prison. Yes. Praise Pastor Sparks. Yes. You know, Y'all come and, and minister to us. This come on. this sister here, Sister Gloria. Sister Gloria you yeah. know, I told a friend of mine. You know, he's expanding. I said, you need to get with her and let that be your mother <laughs> yeah. in the gospel. Yeah. I think he's still there, and uh, he's a young man. Wear glasses. He, that, oh, he became yeah. to the, the the coordinator. That's right. And um, Sister Spark, Pastor Sparks, uh, I heard a preach just powerful, just just set me on fire, oh, had me to ready to praise God and yes. encourage me. Yes. And you're singing and you're preaching. Yes. You know, I can say many things about y'all because y'all just don't God know it. While we are down here locked up, we're hurting. Come on, here. And we need that. Yeah, yeah. We need that old time religion. Yeah. The gospel yeah. that'll stir our soul like Paul yeah. told Timothy. He said, stir up the gift yeah. Yeah. on the inside of you. And that's what y'all did. Y'all stirred me up. Had me ready to praise God. And see, that's what we need. We need folks to influence people. Yes. Especially this young generation. Yes. They need to be influenced by the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes. Because the Bible said in him was life. Yes. And the life was the... See, I can't see without Jesus. Come on, he yes. said the life was the light of men. Yes. See, yes. Jesus is the one helped me see. He's the one that helped me perceive what's going on in this wicked world. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. To God. Let me do protocol though. Yes. Giving honor to God, who is the head of my life. Y'all may be seated. <clears throat> I just thank God for being here. I thank God for this opportunity. Yes. I thank God for his love and his grace. Giving honor to Pastor Sparks and Elder Sparks yes. and Sister Gail yes. and all the rest of the saints in the house. Yes. I just thank y'all for the hospitality. I already yes. went to... Uh, the Waffle House that yeah. got the little steak on. And, and I thank God for that. And I really enjoyed it. Elder Sports. Amen. And I thank God for y'all allowing me to come God. in y'all mission and share the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Because this is the opportunity for me to uh -huh. go ahead and allow God to use me in the ministry that he has instilled in me. Yes. Since I was a child, you know, one day. Yeah. And God is front and be partakers with y'all in serving the Lord. Amen. 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 I'm not going to be before you long, I hope, but I'm going to open up in prayer. 
Father, we just thank you for your love. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for thank your you. grace. We thank yes, you for Lord. your mercy, Father yes, God. Lord. Father, we thank you for life, God. Yes, Lord. Thank we thank you for your goodness, God. Yes, we thank Lord. you that you yes, love Lord. us, and that's why yes, you God. sent your son yes, to die on our yes, behalf, God, yes, to be the substitute, God. Yes. We could have died in our sins, but you, your son said, Lord, prepare me a body. I'll go. Yes. I come through the volume of the book to do your will. And we just thank you that he fulfilled your will, Father. And he dropped his head and said, it is finished. Yes. He said the works was finished before the foundation of the world. Yes. Salvation is offered unto us, God. Yes. And we receive it tonight yes. in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Let's go to the book of John. You know, Sister Gail was singing a song, Yes, Jesus Loves Me. Yes. Oh my God, from Zion. Do you love the Lord? Yes, Lord. Do you really love God with your heart? Because that's what God is looking for. God is looking for folks that really love Him. Yes. And if we truly love God, see, we're going to do the will of God. Oh, yes, Lord. You know, people have pets, and you know, they love them pets. Yes, Lord. And them pets desire things. Them pets want some food. They're going to feed them pets. Oh, yeah. You love your stomach. You love your appetite. Come on. And when your stomach begins to grow, see, your stomach makes some noise. Your stomach communicates to you oh, that yeah. I need yes. something yes. in me. Yes. And you're going to feed yourself. Yes. You love to drink water. You love to drink all type of different <laughs> things for a soda and orange juice. Yeah. And you're going to fulfill those cravings. Yeah. See, God craves for us. Yeah. He said we don't have a high priest that, that cannot be touched on, with the feelings of our infirmity. Yeah. See, yeah. God can be touched. Come on, yeah. God can be prepped up. He can be warmed. Yeah. God can be approached. Yeah. God can be talked to. God can be moved. All the thing we got to do is open up our mouth and express ourselves yeah. to God. Yeah. Yeah. That's what the Bible said Jesus was. He was the expressed image of God. Yes, the Bible said, if you have seen Jesus, said, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. Oh, he expressed yes. God to us. Oh, Jesus. I said, Jesus expressed the Father to us. Oh, on, That's yes. why he died. That's why he shed his blood. Yes. That's why he was that's why he came from heaven and walked among us. Yes. Some of us get upset because of the sun, but Jesus walked in the desert in plenty sun. Oh, Lord Jesus. And it was hot. It's hot in Israel. We complain about the sun. We complain about all type of different things. But when Jesus came, the Bible said he said not a mumbling word. He came to do the will of God. Why? Because he loved us. He yes. said he loved us with an everlasting love. Yes. The Bible said he commanded his love toward us. And while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Yes. But do I love him? Yes. Do I love the Lord? Do I really care about God's will for my life? Will I show God through my actions that I love him? Will I show God through a praise that I love him? Will I show God with my thought life that I love him? Will I show God through my choices that I love him? God is looking for somebody to express themselves unto him. Yes. Can I get amen? Amen. Are y'all with me tonight? Yes, Lord. Let's go to John chapter 3 verse 1. Yes, Lord. Shalom. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher yes. come from God. Yes. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. Come on, Jesus right. answered and said unto him, Very, very, I say unto thee, except. Come on here. He said, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Very, very, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Amen. He said, That which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of spirit is spirit. Jesus came and began to minister to us and let us know about the kingdom of God. Yes. And he said, you must be born again to see 
the yeah, kingdom. Yeah. That word see in the Greek, it means to perceive, it means to comprehend, it means to have knowledge of. If I haven't been born again, see, God won't mean anything to me. Come on here. That's it. I won't perceive his heart like David did. The Bible said David was a man out of God's own heart. I won't perceive how God want me to go in the highways and byways and compel them to come. I won't perceive how important it is for God to go inside the prisons and begin to tell folks about him. Because he said the goats didn't tell people about him. He said, but the sheep did. God is looking for somebody to perceive his heart. Amen. Come on, come on, come on. You got to perceive the heart of God because God expresses Himself to His people. God expresses Himself through His people. Don't you know God will express Himself to you from a preacher? He will express Himself to you from a song. He will express Himself to you by speaking it to your heart. God will allow you to understand how much He loves you. That's why we have the Word of God. The Bible said He sent His Word and it healed us and delivered us from all our destructions. But I got to get in that place. Where I perceive that God care about me. Yeah. I got to get in that place and understand that God gave me eternal life. That's why He said that which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of spirit is spirit. See, when I got born of my flesh, see, my mama loved me. She brought me into this world. She fed me. She encouraged me. She did the best that she could to get me in a place where I learned about the master, where I learned about the goodness of the Lord. But see, God is able to do even better. Because when he speaks to you, he'll get you in a place where you can understand about his goodness. He'll get you in a place where you'll praise him and open up your mouth and glorify him and let God know. God, I care about you, God. I don't care what nobody else is doing. I don't care what nobody else is saying. I'm going to get in a place where you want me to be because you said love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. He said if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. I got to get in a place where I show God that I love him. I got to get in a place and show God. God, I care about you. I know folks are falling out behind Nick and Manaya and Jay-Z and all these fools, but God, I'm going to fall out about you. I'm going to give you a praise, God. I'm not going to listen to that mix. I'm going to get in the place and understand that you want me to minister the kingdom of God. Yes, Lord. That which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of spirit is spirit. That's why the Bible said, David in the flesh cannot please God. You can't please God in your flesh. You got to get born again. And when you get truly born again, the Bible said they that are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. That's why he said go in the highways and byways and compel them to come. That's why true saints get up and they'll go inside a hospital and they'll command demons to call in the name of Jesus. They'll go into the prisons and they'll tell folks that God loves you. You can make it. You're better than this. They say you'll never be nothing because you got an X on your back. But the devil is alive. I need to smoke crack. I need to step on the street. I have been homeless. But God transformed me. He called me to a place where I can open up my mouth and speak the words of the kingdom of God. I don't know about nobody else in this place. But I got to manifest the goodness of God. I got to tell folks about Jesus. Because he is the king of kings. And the Lord of lords. He is my God. He is my peace. He is my he is my glory. He is the one that filled me with the Holy Ghost. He is the one that brought me out of darkness into his marvelous light. So I can give him a praise. So I can honor him. I'm talking about Jesus. I'm not talking about JC. I'm not talking about Beyonce. I'm not talking about the Cowboys. I'm not talking about the Texas. I'm talking about Jesus. We got so many folks bragging about people. That's all they talk about people. They always talk about the wisdom of people. We need to get back to that place. We all talk about the wisdom of God. The Bible said wisdom is a principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom with all that understanding. You got to get wisdom. You got to get God in your conversation. You got to get God in your mind. You got to get God in your agenda. You got to get God before you. That's why he said. And make the crooked post straight. I break it pieces of the gates of bread. And I cut it out of the bars of earth. Everything that's trying to stop you from getting to your destiny. Try to break that thing in half. Try to knock that thing down. I say, God, bring me up out of this.
place. Yes, because that's what he want to do. Yes, Lord. God don't want to leave you in that place where you can't perceive who he is. Come on, come on. God is looking for his saints to praise him. Yes. Why do you think he said we are his ambassadors? Yes. We represent the kingdom of God. That's why he came and began to minister the kingdom of God. Yes. When Jesus came preaching, he said, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. He didn't say the United States. We are stand up for the flag. We are stand up for the flag. We are stand up for the flag. We are put our hand on all the heart and we will begin to recite things. But God wants us to shut up and praise Him. No. God wants us to glorify Him. God wants us to manifest yeah. to help unto people. That's why we represent the kingdom. Oh. That's why Jesus came yeah. and said, If you have seen me, you have seen the Father. When folks see you, they want to see Jesus. Yeah. That's why He said, You are the light of the world. Oh. A city that is set on the hill cannot be hid. You're supposed to be seen. You're supposed to let folks recognize you. Oh. The power of God is there. Oh. Inside of me. I make demons tremble right? because of the name of Jesus. I represent the Lord God Almighty. There's no other God beside Him. That's why I praise Him. Because I could be in a casket. I could be dead. I could be in a funeral home right now. But God, goodness, and His grace and His mercy said, Come out of that mess. Just like you call them Lazarus. Lazarus, come forth. That's what you got to do. You got to come forth. Jesus, to get out of my way. I'm going to the master. I'm going to Jesus. I'm going to tell folks about Jesus. I ain't got time for this mess. I got to get to the master. Dirt. That car 